I'm launching in Burlington, Vermont right now, uh -huh. which I just happened, that's what I was giving this guy on. So I, I don't, I ran out of my other cards for my consulting business. That's something. That's that fine. I, somebody, and I own 50% and somebody else owns it. Are you ready with speed? We're good? I'm Kurt Kelly with Actors Reporter, and we're back with Robert Becker. And you have worked and consulted with some of the, the, the majors in the broadcast industry. Tell me about it. Well, I, I started my career at Time, Inc. Uh, prior to the Time Warner merger and uh, started in the magazine corporate side. With, worked on the launch of People, the shutdown of Life. And then when Time Inc. launched HBO, uh, I was sent down there and became the controller uh, of HBO through a number of presidents. So one year I woke up and said, I'm going to go in my own business, become an entrepreneur, and I've been doing it for 25 years. So you've been in the, the television and entertainment field for at least 25 years now. We've ascertained that, maybe longer. How have you seen it change over the years, and what's your outlook on it? Well, I, I think the most dramatic change is that there was a period recently where I felt that the business was maybe turning into more of a commodity business because people were, I'll use the phrase, starting to fall in love with their devices. Mm -hmm. The portability, the, you know, the easy access. Uh, and, and I've always been based in content. You know, I was one of the, you know, I'm one of these believers in content is king, which is really the theme of this year's nappy. Um, and, and it's coming full circle now. I mean, we're finding that the devices will create a certain amount of new content with uh, things, you know, being able to take a digital photo on your phone and send it into the news, you know, of a disaster, whatever. That's content. But it, the devices aren't going to create all the content. So we're back to the creative element again. And and content being king. So to me, that's very exciting because, you know, it's come full circle back to where it belongs. And, and I think that because of that, with all these different distribution devices now, as long as you have the rights, and one of my clients being Film Chest, which uh, you, you interviewed earlier, um, you know, they have the public domain content primarily, but it means they have the so-called TV everywhere rights. So they can actually distribute through all the devices. So they're platform neutral. They're friendly to all distribution platforms. And uh, to me, that's what's exciting about it. So if somebody wanted to contact you to get your expertise, what company and how do I locate you? Uh, I'm word of mouth. I mean, you know, send me an email. Okay. BeckerBob1 at yahoo.com and, and I'll, I'll reply. How's new media impacting broadcast television from your vantage point? Well, I, I you know, it, it, for years we've been predicting a convergence of the various distribution platforms. It's been very slow to happen. But it's like I say, you know, it's, it's hard to take a piece of fiber or a coaxial cable and put it into a BlackBerry. So at some point in this TV everywhere, everywhere world that we're talking about right now, there's going to be that convergence of over the air and the wires and the satellites. Um, you know, everybody had their own business model, so it's very slow, the convergence, but it's happening. It's starting to pick up steam now. So, again, I, I, I think if the recession wouldn't have hit us when it did, that this is probably the most exciting time in, in the history of media. And, and I've been in my own business 25 years, and I was at Time Inc. 15 years. So I've been in the business quite a while. The... Industry, like everyone else with the uh, economic failure, took a big hit. Has it rebounded from the hit, or are we still kind of bouncing on the bottom? People are starting to do new things. You know, they don't, uh, you know, in consulting, I mean, I'm basically selling my experience and my contacts. Um, um, it was pretty lean there for a while. It's starting to pick up again. I mean, people are starting to do new things again. And that's what's required in the media business. Um, I mean, you, you know, um, earlier when you interviewed the, the Film Chest uh, executives, um, you 
you know, when you do a new channel, you know, you want to buy some efficiently priced programming that has all rights, but, you know, you can't avoid the studios. I mean, they've got the marquee products, uh, you know, but you've got to balance it or you're not going to have a profit margin. You know, and, and being a financial guy, that's always the focus of what I do is, are we hobbyists here or are we trying to make some money? Is this year's Nappy attendance up or down from your vantage point? Well, I, I actually didn't come for a few years because you know, all the studios left there for a while, but it's very healthy again now. I mean, I, I, you know, it's only day two, and I'm, uh, you know, I'm impressed. Good. Very nice to meet you, and I wish you continued success. Right. Thank you. Um, if you'll hold for just a second. Do you know how to take the stills with the camera? Okay, could you get a still of us together, shaking hands? As I forgot to get one with the other guys also, so. If not, I've got my still camera if that's easier for you. Switch for like video pictures. No, I'm no. And nothing's happening. No, it's a, it's a flat button on the side, I think. You know what? We can just use the still camera. Here you go. We'll make it simple. That's all right. It's a beauty of digital. You just put pages exactly. together. You push the wrong button. The wrong one. Just hold it until it. There you go. Cool. Until it does that. Oh no, it's not good. You look like you. Thank you. Oh. Can I get a photo with yeah. each of you? Check it out. Yes. Yes.